Hello and welcome. My name is Vishwanath M. In this video, let us try to learn and understand uh, the concept of array of structures or uh, the concept of using a C program to create a calendar array. If you are uh, create, if you are following the VTU syllabus, this is uh, program number one of data structures laboratory. So this is the last video in the series, but uh, it happens to be the first program of the data structures syllabus. Anyway, without further ado, let us uh, first uh, get a brief understanding of what we are doing in the program, then understand the program itself, then jump to the execution. So that is the uh, method you will or uh, the pattern you will see in all the videos of data structures series. So in this C program, we are using a set of header files, stdio.h, string.h and stdlib.h. stdio for input output, string because we are using some string uh, functions and stdlib because we are using the concept of dynamic memory allocation function and dynamic memory allocation is present or that facility is provided by the stdlib.h header file of uh, C language. Hash define is used to create a global constant and since we are creating a calendar array, uh, we are creating a constant called number of days and uh, we are defining the constant as 7. So in this uh, first program or in this program, you will use the concept of structures. So what is a structure? Structure is a user defined data type, the simplest way to define structure. How we have uh, data types like int, char, double and so on. Uh, in order to create a data structure of our own or a data type of our own, uh, we have to use the concept of struct. So using the concept of struct, you could create a data type which uh, could be used in general uh, day to day applications. For example, you are interested to create a calendar data structure here and uh, assume that each of this box is a calendar data structure. Each uh, function, each you know uh, box or each uh, data element will have day assume that there is some uh, description here which is date and then you could also have some uh, uh, you could also have some uh, description here which is like a to-do list so if you want to have day date and the description in one data element uh, that is not possible with the predefined data types like int and char so we are creating a, a data type of our own and naming it calendar uh, using the concept of structure Type def is used to give a nickname to a data type. So in, uh, otherwise, we would have had to call it struct calendar. But uh, since we are uh, using the concept of type def, we are defining the data type as calendar, or we are naming it as calendar. Uh, what are the components of the uh, calendar data structure? Uh, it is a char uh, pointer, or it is a uh, character array, which is like a, which is having the date of, which is having the data. Uh, name of the day, name of the data is uh, the day name itself that is Sunday, Monday and so, so on. In date of the day, so uh, you would have the date here and uh, char star is another character pointer, it will have activity description. So uh, if you are if you're interested to create a to-do list, so uh, activity description is uh, again going to be a character pointer. And uh, we know that we are use, using type def to create, to name this structure as calendar. So going forward, we can just use the word calendar just like how we would use any other data type like int and char, uh, char uh, in the same way. We could use this uh, word called calendar to create data type, uh, to create variables of calendar data type. I hope I have made uh, uh, sense of uh, in order to explain what structure in C programming is used for. So in this program, we are asked to create a calendar, uh, read the calendar that is accept the input from the user. And then of course the goal of the program is to print the week's activity. So you could see this like a to-do list. So in the week, in the print week's activity function, we are interested to print the name of the day and the description. Uh, so all of this is the ask in the program question or the uh, syllabus. Of course we will need a main function in any C program because uh, execution of C program starts with main. So we will uh, understand each function uh, and then jump to main function. Void create calendar, as the name suggests, is used to create a calendar element or a calendar. Uh, so uh, what are the parameter that is going as a parameter list to the calendar uh, create calendar function? The calendar A. So in the main function, we are creating a calendar array of <coughs> size 7. The number of days is a defined constant. So we are creating a calendar array of 7. That is 7 data elements for 7 days of the week. That is the first parameter int i is used for iterary purpose, char name, names, uh, name indicates the uh, name of the day that is uh, 
uh, Sunday, Monday and others. Date is for the date and activity is for the activity description that you would want to enter. That is the parameter list. So jumping into the function, we are using the concept of dynamic memory allocation function uh, that is malloc. Uh, so uh, understanding the concept of malloc here is required. Malloc is a dynamic memory allocation function that will return a pointer to a space within the memory. I repeat, malloc is a dynamic memory allocation function that returns a pointer or a pointer to the location in the memory. So how much memory or how much space we are defining is uh, we are allocating is defined in the parameter list malloc of string length of name. So whatever is the name that we are uh, accepting that is name of the day, Sunday, Monday and others, whatever is the string length plus one because strings have, um, have, have an ending character or a closing character. So in order to consider the closing character as well, we are adding plus one. Otherwise, malloc is add, uh, creating a space of what is seen inside the function parameter that is malloc's parameter defines the size of the space or amount of space that is allocated uh, and uh, in this uh, memory. But malloc function by default returns a void type pointer. But uh, in this case, we want a character type pointer because uh, the uh, name of the day is a character pointer here. So how do we convert a data type from one to other? We use the concept of typecasting. So here we are doing a typecasting from void star to char star. So char star is the character pointer and whatever is the return value is ultimately stored in the uh, the respective component within the data structure that is ai dot name of day. So dot operator is used to access the name of the day component within the calendar structure. In other videos of this series you would also encounter the arrow, uh, arrow operator which is again used to access the elements of the structure. Uh, in, uh, in this program we are using the dot operator. So after we have allocated a space in the memory, the next goal is to uh, fill data into the space. So how do we fill data into the space? We are using the concept of string copy. Uh, so string copy uh, syntax is string copy of two uh, you know, character arrays or character pointers a comma b. Whatever is the data present in b will be stored to the first parameter. So in this, uh, in this line of code, string copy ai dot name of the day. So this component within the structure name of the day this will be filled by the data held by name. So where is name coming from? Name is a parameter uh, we are accepting in the create calendar function. But where is name actually accepted as an input? In the read calendar function. So we are creating this uh, temporary variables and we are accepting the uh, date, uh, name, date and activity in read calendar function. And we are calling the create calendar function from read calendar function. So there are a lot of concepts hidden in this program. Uh, while, while understanding the program, let us also le learn the concept behind each of them. So string copy, as we as I just explained, will uh, copy whatever is the content of name to ai dot name of the day. Next, we want to uh, uh, fill the next uh, component within the uh, structure in date of the day. So that is simply taking the data, whatever is uh, date we have entered in in date. Now we come to activity description. Now we have already understood the concept of malloc function. The same applies here as well. Here uh, we uh, the string length will be string length of activity. Whatever is activity we have uh, accepted as an input. Plus one of course we know why because uh, strings have an ending character. So that is the additional plus one uh, space that we want to create. Whatever is created is now typecasted into char star and ultimately stored in this ai dot activity description pointer later uh, whatever is uh, the activity that we have accepted as an input that will be have to be copied or stored into the component using the string copy function so we have understood void create calendar function moving ahead we already know what read calendar function is intended to do uh, it is used to read the calendar or it is used to accept the input from the uh, user of what the calendar looks like so we are creating uh, temporary variables like int i date uh, character name indicating the uh, day or the name of the day activity for the description of the activity. We run a for loop for uh, the number of days. So we know the number of days is 7. So this for loop runs for 7 times and uh, in each iteration we accept the name. Name indicates day, whatever is the date, whatever is the date you want to enter here. So it would be 17 in this case and whatever is the activity. So you could enter whatever activity you would want to enter here. Uh, in each iteration of the for loop, we are calling create calendar function. So here is where we can understand uh, some concept here. 
inside the for loop which runs seven times each time we are calling create calendar function so this is the calling function this is the called function uh, so every time uh, the create calendar function is executed and the return comes back and the next iteration of for loop again calls create calendar function so ultimately what read calendar is doing is read calendar function is creating the calendar for seven days that is the summary of read calendar the goal of the program is to print the week's activity that is the name and the description that is done in this function print weeks activity and the uh, parameter of first parameter in all the function remains the same calendar a that is the seven day array that we have created for the calendar i is for iterative purpose we just print this message weeks activity and we run the same for loop for seven times for i is equals to zero i smaller than number of days i plus plus what we do here is just print the name of the day so first percentage just is taking the uh, is, uh, this place is occupied by name of the day second percentage is this place is occupied by activity description so what you see here uh, on the output screen is day and description so that is the uh, goal of the program and we are uh, achieving the goal of the program in this function provide print weeks activity so let, we are now only left with the main function any C program will ex start execution from main function. So uh, main function is where uh, we would normally, uh, you know, uh, uh, enter all the first preliminary messages. If you are uh, in uh, in the other programs in other videos of this data structure series, you would have to probably create a menu for uh, uh, for the program menu driven programs. So all those menu will be created in the main function. Anyway, that is all some additional information for this program void main uh, we are just first uh, creating an array of calendar elements so read this like how you would read like any other uh, array so if you are creating int a of 10 or int a of 7 just like that we are creating calendar a of number of days where number of days is 7 uh, we are pr uh, printing a preliminary message the message that the user first wants to see on the output that is enter day date activity very simple whatever is the day whatever is the date and activity that the user wants to enter after that we are calling the first function read calendar so again going back to the concept uh, c program starts execution with main uh, it starts executing line by line where whenever it en uh, encounters or sees this uh, function call read calendar so this becomes the calling function read calendar will call the read calendar function the set of lines within read calendar will be executed but we know that within the read calendar function itself there is another function call so each time of the for loop the create calendar function is executed so once the for loop runs for seven times internally seven times the create calendar function would be called anyway that is all at the background what we just do is uh, recall this first function that is read calendar and we are passing the uh, parameter as a where a is the array of seven days or it is the array name and what is the array it is an array of calendars or array of calendar days after the read calendar function is uh, executed next uh, the execution will be print weeks activity that is the goal of the program void print uh, void print weeks activity uh, so we have understood what happens in this prog uh, in this function uh, the uh, day name of the day and activity description is printed on the output screen which is the ask of the program so this happens to be a simple program which has uh, uh, you know lesser number of functions and lesser number of uh, lines of code but internally there are a cons there are multiple concepts uh, namely concept of structures concept of arrays concept of pointers and dynamic memory allocation function concept of strings and uh, uh, we have uh, of course uh, we have in this program we have also understood how function call happens and internally how within an iteration within a for loop how function is being called repeatedly uh, and all the all those intricate concepts so we now have understood the program uh, we know we, uh, we had this image all this while just to uh, you know make understanding of the concepts uh, in sync with the image on the left so this is the image i chose there was another image where uh, it had uh, day date and month as well since we don't uh, we are not considering the month in the in the program i didn't use this image uh, to not confuse the readers so but again you could see that there is date there is day and there is some description new year's day uh, you know second day of something like that so you have description for all the days so this is again another example you could uh, keep in mind or this is another visualization you could keep in mind as to what we are doing in this program so now that we have understood the program and the concept let us now jump to 
execution for execution uh, we will have to use the uh, linux terminal so this is the terminal how do we execute a c program using the commands as follows gcc or the global compiler whatever is the name of the program in this case it is p1 dot small c small c indicating c program if you click enter uh, if the cursor is blinking on the next line without any error message that's a green flag or a good sign that there are no errors in the program however suppose let's say you have made some error here i intentionally made an error by not uh, inserting a semicolon so if i execute the program again gcc p1 dot c so it would show, an, show up an error so this is very quite common as soon as you see an error the first step is to see where the error is see the line number and understand what the error is so it clearly says it was expecting a semicolon before a a is on the row number on the line number 19 and the line before that it was expecting a semicolon so we enter the semicolon star here indicates that the program is not saved so when as soon as you press ctrl s or you click save button here it will save the program that means uh, when you compile the program next time whatever you ch the change that you have made will be uh, considered so gcc p1.c if i click enter again we will see that there are no errors in the program so how do you uh, execute a program using the command dot slash a dot o u t dot slash a dot out uh, this command will execute the program clicking enter will start with the main function so what is the first uh, message that the user will see whatever is the first print statement here enter day date activity uh, so after this what is happening at the background these are not things you would see on the terminal or the output screen but this is what happens in the background read calendar function is called so it is now ask uh, it is now waiting for the input so what what are we supposed to enter day date activity so let the let us uh, do the same let us just use sun for sunday and uh, date is 17 uh, and let the activity be uh, let's say study because uh, this happens to be an exam season for most students uh, let, let us assume that they want to study on this date so we have entered the first day's activity click enter it uh, again waits for the input because this for, for loop runs for seven days and we have entered only information for one day so now let us uh, quickly run uh, enter the other information as well monday 18 let's say they will write on monday tuesday 19th uh, would they revise wednesday 20 will be the exam date let's assume and uh, thursday after exam one may want to relax so let us enter relax friday uh, 22nd one will uh, probably start again uh, for the next exam so let us now enter read on friday saturday 23rd uh, probably one would uh, uh, you know uh, write or maybe for uh, variety let's have prepare for saturday and uh, we have entered all the days of the week sunday to saturday so we have and uh, we have read the calendar that is we have accepted the we have given an input for all the seven days uh, what is the next goal in the program it will next call the print weeks activity that is the output we are seeing on the screen print weeks activity is displaying this message weeks activity and uh, accordingly displaying what is the activity of each day in the week sunday will be study and it will be till saturday uh, for saturday will be prepare uh, so in this video we have uh, learned the program number one we have understood all the concepts uh, hidden or concepts related to program number one uh, we saw a meaningful image of a calendar and uh, we have now executed the program and validated the correctness of the program. With this, we come to the end of the video. Hope all this helps. Uh, thank you.